get the easy gun. Now, I didn't really know what the easy gun was in the intro. Snake Eater is the best song in this game, in my opinion. I mean, Wait Way to Fall is pretty good. Now on the Moon. This game is in 1960, just screams it. Honestly, Metal Gear Solid 3 is a masterpiece. Even though I played it like like uh like 13 years after it was released the game still holds up i love the story in this game that's what, that's the, that's the main reason why i love metal gear solid 3 the most i just love the storyline um i'm gonna skip most cutscenes. most of the time i really kind of know what to do but for, for the most part i know what to do i think i think i still have a decent memory of what to do in this game because this game is still very memorable to play i uh it's my favorite because it, it's very much like like Metal Gear Solid One, but um, it's very similar to MGS One in terms of its storyline and actually how things uh happen, like Snake getting kidnapped happens in this game. It's uh, this are there are some some differences, the whole nuclear shackle hot stuff, all that stuff. But the main highlight of this uh, game is and uh, is Big Boss's relationship with the boss and their uh and his uh you know. And his strong, his personal feelings for her, and him having to kill her, you know. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. I want to uh, at least know what to do, kind of. So I want to. Uh... When I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one. Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? Oh, that's the. Uh, that was wasn't that a. Uh... What was that? Who's the guy? Was that a? Uh, was it Clint? Wasn't that Clint Eastwood who was in that movie? It's that when, when when they escape from Alcatraz, yeah, they're talking about it. Oh no, wait, that was something else. That was in the 70s, I think. Paramedics with us again on this mission. She'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency only the same is the same as the, during the virtual mission. 145.73. Good to know, Mr. Signet. Uh, Signet is actually the DARPA chief in Metal Gear Solid One. How to add him, guy, when I see him. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess. You can skip ahead a little bit. Adam is Ocelot. Ocelot is a freaking double-crossing uh, agent. I think the cutscene just happened. I gotta hide here. I think the bad guys come. Because as soon as you come down here, the boss is here, I think. Actually, no. I think, I think, I think the horses just show up. I'm gonna try... Uh, she... I think she just... Oh, no. I still have my suppressor. Okay, so she didn't break me yet okay all right uh, let's see what happens really odd thing about this game stun grenades they like i said earlier they are this game very much makes you it kind of it, 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 it has a hot emphasis on utilizing your surroundings now because there's no soliton radar in this game it's just this motion detector thing sorry i hit the mic Someone's must be this way. You're, you're meant to listen. There's not really any music unless you get like caught or they're under suspicion that someone's near. I pretty much use use stun grenades. I didn't utilize them on my first playthrough. I actually hardly used them. I think the whole point is you're supposed to really just start utilizing your weaponry in this game. I don't know if there's any bad guys over here. I haven't played this game in. Uh, Forever, but it's a pretty safe thing to do when we try to sneak around is to hold out a stun grenade All right, is the boss's horse out here. I don't know She rides a horse in this game. I think snake even He rides one in Peace Walker. I think he's chasing the thing down uh, I forget which way you have to go honestly She hasn't broke my suppressor yet. So the cutscene that happens later What are you doing? So is there a bad guy down here? I don't get it. He's singing Chris Brown. <laughs> Am I gonna get a, a copyright strike for that? No, dude. Might. He, he did a front flip, dude. There's a, there's a sniper down here. Oh, the snake. I'm gonna kill him real quick. There we go. At least you can get something to eat. Give me something good to eat. There's a sniper over here, I believe. There's snakes everywhere. I'm gonna save that. There's a, there is a sniper over here somewhere, I believe. Cause when you when you fight the end, 
you find a sniper somewhere, and I think you find it here. Man, I remember watching. I, I'm watching. Uh, this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid, uh, three, but uh, what, with Dark Side Phil video. After watching that, uh, I don't feel like I'm a bad MGS player. I think I'm. I think I'm decent or okay. I'm not that. I'm not good at this. Okay, here's what happens. I have to watch that. He like he see he's so clueless about the game. He, he didn't figure out anything. He didn't read anything. I mean, I understand you don't want to really watch the cutscene because they do tell you things in the cutscenes. So you got to watch the whole thing. I think when you play it your first playthrough, I mean, you got to like know what you're get, getting into. I guess big boss is easily distracted. She's not there, Snake. Turn around. Put your back up against it or something. Watch the boss school him again. Now I'm, I'm gonna play this cutscene real quick. I want to see the boss school snake real quick. I'm, th I'm checking the recording on my uh, computer. It actually d d doesn't look that bad. I put the um when I was uh, actually editing this video or preparing for it, I made the video more sharper. If it looks good, I will keep it. If it looks bad, I will uh, get rid of it. Cause when I was um, cause I use I use I use OBS to record my videos, right? You can change. I mean, it looks pretty good so far. I mean, it looks like it's pretty crystal clear, but. I don't have the video zoomed in on my, on my laptop. I don't think you can. She just owns him, and it's so awesome. She just dominates the room. The boss is such a badass. She but she just beats the crap out of everybody. She CQCs everybody. She's so awesome. Watch. All right, so now we're stuck with our uh, bare hands, I think, or shotgun. I like how that dirt trowels with, with his boot. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. But yeah, she is the she's the best character in this game. I would say ne next to Big Boss, I would say it's equal. All right, so I'm gonna skip this. All she does is that uh, she she shoots that, brings in all the enemies. Patriot, she's shooting that thing with one arm, which, by the way, I think is pretty much impossible. Because you know that thing shoots bullets like so dang fast. The fact that you could, like, I mean, those rockets that sh she was holding earlier, she literally is holding like like rockets that are like a thousand pounds on two with one hand each. That's almost impossible. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's impossible. It's just that I just didn't. I couldn't see it. Oh, this is the sorrow. All right. I'm not gonna tell anybody things that, that they don't already know. Both people who watch me play this probably are gonna be MGS fans themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and set my drink real quick. Drop my controller. God dang it. What was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russian... It's more than that, Zero. That's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. That is the problem, Snake. That would be like if your own mother uh, betrayed you, basically. Alright, then we gotta hide in these bushes. But they're coming. They're coming to get you. When there's, when there's a certain campfire I can use, I can actually crouch up. Uh, leaf? Leaf's not bad. I think the uh, tree bark's probably. Uh, tree bark's bad? How's tree bark bad? Uh, it's kind of brown looking. Leaf's probably not a bad choice. Leaf's. Leaf's decent. We'll, we'll go with Leaf. Because I don't think one adds. That's probably the best one for where I'm currently at. I'd missed one of the... Uh, so I don't have a... Um, any type of... I think in my backpack I still have my... Um, okay, no. I don't... Uh, reticulated Python? That's the uh, weapon? Really? Huh. I thought that would be uh, somewhere else. I guess I was wrong. All the weapons I lost in the previous mission are now gone. Okay, wait a minute. I should put on the uh, face paint real quick. 
face paint. I pretty much always wear face paint. I pretty much always go for woodland or black because black really kind of goes with anything, honestly. Uh, the words very much do uh, apply. This is blackface. It's not really racist. I get, I get it, but What's this? oh my! <laughs> this is HQ. This is HQ. Get down, you dummy! I can't quite see where the enemy is, but I think they're right there. All right, it doesn't matter which camera angle I pick. There they are. So I wonder what you're supposed to do here. I think you're maybe you're supposed to. You should probably like creepily walk out. Pray to God they don't see you. I don't want to have to seeky see slam anybody today, really. Might have to. It's the, this is the best thing we got next to Soliton Raider. All right, we're gonna have my stun grenade out because he's like, guess I guess I need to start running. Let's see, uh, I can kind of have kind of a better. Oh, get down! Someone saw me. One. What was that? Pretty god. Oh wow, douchebag! Oh, he shot me. Oh, I got, oh, I got stuck by something. What the freak? Why is he stuck on the floor? Wait, what? Just snake, throw a uh, stun grenade at him, dude. Knock him out. I'm gonna go ahead and treat that. I'm gonna take that guy's gun. <laughs> I'm poisoned. Venom poisoning. Uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Medi that's in the medicine section. There you go. That's not too bad. I don't really. I wouldn't really. That that didn't knock him out. Huh. Die, sir. That all. Okay, that was all of them. I want to get some weapon. I think, I think it only works in certain areas. I think it only works when you're actually walking. Close shave. Uh, real funny. I don't think that's necessary. That's something that's necessary. I think that's why I have binoculars. Let's look for my let's look for my binoculars. How do you do? Let's just work again. You gotta. How do you zoom in? There we go. Get her zoom in. Hmm, it, maybe it's the parts down here now. Alright, uh, decent control. Oh! What the freak? Okay, is it why to climb up? Is it? <laughs> is it why? Pray to God. No, it is. It is why. What do you know? Oh it's, oh, it's back in the old camera mode. Okay, don't do that. I don't like that camera. Walk slowly, sir. Let's go into our survival viewer. Alright. Everything else sucks. No way, that's the faces. Go to the uniform. Want to add to my uh, thing. Black doesn't help. I thought black would be kind of good universally. But you're practically in a forest the entire game. Does black add to it or decrease? Let's, let's check it out. No paint. Black does help. We'll put it on brown. So now I'm just a black guy, basically. I don't think brown's necessarily a bad look. Oh, crap. Wrong, wrong item in inventory. Alright, so I think it's helpful in situations like these. To make sure it doesn't actually see you. Snake, stop slowing down. Hold, am I holding this sun grenade still? Looks ridiculous, but it helps. See if I—I I mean, I feel like he, he would hear me still, probably. Maybe I should go back. I don't. I'm not sure if that other part is actually. I'm gonna check, check, check again real quick. Actually, I want to check to see if the parts there. 
These are actually Russian terms, I think, maybe. All right. They're coming. Uh... Yeah, we, sneak, we sneak up behind him gracefully. See? Otherwise, he'd hear me. He saw me. How close cut does it have to be? Okay, there's, there's more stuff down here. Uh, I don't think you can throw them out. You can't throw them out the cliff, I think. Maybe they stop spawning now. Okay, so it's after the Virtus mission that other costumes spawn in. Okay, so that's how you do it. I don't really uh, keep going, Snake. I remember that one. There's there's one in, there's one in the river somewhere. I think there's one in an actual Grassland Grad base. You know the one that you infiltrate. I think you can interrogate people to even get information from it. It's a, it's a little strange how you do it. I thought my problem was that uh, I think the controls, I think the learning curve of getting the controls down is a little awkward. But I think once you figure it out, it's all decent. I think it's good when you figure it out, but when you're just trying to like, I think the, I think it's it's much, it takes more time to learn how to play the game or get used to its weird, you know, it's more uh, not I would, and the weird controls, how it works. It's not terrible. It's just that when you play MGS5 and you jump to this one, you're gonna definitely have uh. You're gonna, you're gonna definitely uh, feel kind of different about it. Oh my! Slower you, the, so the slower you move, the less likely someone someone's gonna see you. I don't think I don't think there's anybody here. I'm gonna hold a stun grenade just in case I don't, I don't run up into anybody and they, and they hear me, because you know how often that happens. I don't think there's anybody here. Okay, there's someone over here. Something something's moving over there, but I don't think it's a human. I'm very visible in this brick factory. Basically, we gotta just. I don't think there's anybody here. That's looking weird. He looks. He's holding it differently. Huh. I wonder which spot you gotta go to. I guess the only problem is that you gotta. Uh, Sokolov. Oh, it's a cover box. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cover box. Oh, snake. Slippery devil. It looks like I'm having an easier time, but uh, I think it's because I'm I have more control of the camera. Before it was like this. Well, this is not a terrible way, way to play the game. I don't think it's really the best way because when you're playing a game that uses that utilizes you know the environment, you gotta look for people. It, it doesn't tell you where they are exactly. It's a lot different than trying to just. I mean, you, you, I think I think it's still possible to get good at it. It's just I don't like it. I think that playing it like this is the better way to play this t type of game. I think, I think this is why they added it on purpose because it just plays plays better. All right, in here he's he's gone. He's not in the place anymore. Anything under here? Uh, I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and equip the cardboard box real quick. You got I think I think I think you can do that manually. It gets somehow stored in your backpack and it goes into I would say your item window. Cardboard box. Hey. I never really used the car box too much in this game, really, because I don't. I, I just never really saw. I wish you blend in more. Get up, snake. Can, can we check? Can we check the lockers? Yes, you can. So we got. Okay, so it's, they're basically gonna think you're in the same place. Why would he? Why would Snake think to check for? Uh, I think. I think you do. I think you do go back for Sokolov, and you just think he's in the same place again. Snake only has a dagger, and we and then uh, we got this cutscene. I'll play it for a little bit. I'm not gonna show off every cutscene, but I'm gonna show off a decent amount. A decent amount. So this is where you get me uh, introduced to Eva. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you? Are you? Adam was also a lot. Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me. Get down. You know, funny funny thing actually is when I got to the jail scene. Oh my oh okay, that sounds pretty bad. Let me let me rephrase that. That sounds really bad. 
Oh, this sounds like a rape scene in <laughs> a jail movie. Okay. A pr prison movie. Okay. Let, let me rephrase that, actually. Um, when you get to, uh, into the, uh, into Gro Groznygrad and you get kidnapped, I think, um, and I think, and this is in the original PS2 version. Uh, which I which that, that was when I first played of the first the first version of the game I played. I've never played this game completely on a um, on PS3 or Xbox. I do have it on Xbox. But my brother got it for me, and then I think on Christmas he got me the, the Legacy Collection, which is a great thing to start with because you get every Metal Gear game pretty much except for Portable Ops and like the Acid series. Is Eva? I do like Eva. Though. I mean, I guess she's sexy. I mean, she's not real. She's basically a, um, a penis tease in this game. Even Snake has the hots for her. I mean, I, he, I mean, again, I guess that he's been deprived. See, when you press R1, it just goes right for the tits. So they're not even trying to be subtle about it. He's not even trying to hide the fact that he's uh, staring at it. Oh, Snake is t turns into a total fanboy over that pistol that she gives him, too. It's really, it's pretty funny. You should get some sleep. Although in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. Sleep is the best medicine. Yeah, I don't take me medication anymore, by the way. I just sleep. Oh, yeah, we'll save, yeah. Uh, this next scene, they come barging in. I think we're going to stop it here. I've been recording for about an hour and 23 minutes now. Uh, we're going we're gonna to overwrite this save data real quick. We're just going to be playing uh, this whole game over. I'm going to probably edit this in parts, maybe, or I might upload the whole thing. I don't know. I think it's better to at least upload it in parts, maybe. I, think, I mean, I think it's better to upload it in parts, because I don't think everyone's going to... I don't think everyone's going to just watch... You know everything. I might I might upload make ten to fifteen minute parts probably, and a, and a ten ten to fifteen if you heard me wrong. But yeah, um, this is an awesome game. I spent a lot of time. I barely got through the virtuous mission within like the first hour. That was really just me just trying to figure out how to play the game again, and I actually messed up and I had to rewatch some of the cutscenes again. But I hope this first part turned out and looked pretty good. I um I up you know like I said before I scaled up the uh, the sharpness of the game. If it looks kind of weird, I'll change it up next time. I'll try to find a better balance for it. But other than that, I think that I picked a pretty good choice. Maybe I'll have to look at the footage again later. But as I'm looking at it now, okay, I watch that. His eyes are barely open, but he just they really try to show that shove that crap in your face. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. I think I think the, I think the easy thing for this to hide under under the bed and just throw a grenade at him. I'll do that probably maybe. See why do they always do that? It's always right at the tit. The the developers are like freaking horn dogs. It's like video game porn. Like e like even the Beauty and the Beast people in Metal Gear Solid Four are like straight up just sex like. Things are insane with the sex in this game. I don't think you had. There's Ocelot. I love Ocelot. Ocelot is so awesome in this game. He's so weird, but he's like such a he's such a mem memorable kind of weird. All right. I think when you beat this, you just gotta. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I forgot which. It, well, it gives you a counter, so you know how, how many people there are. So I guess they, I think there's five. That's also including Ocelot when the four he just counted. Oh no, Snake! Snake! Oh my God!